Hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. My name's Josh, for those who don't know. I'm doing this video on behalf of uh, tea tree oil, or Melaleuca alternifolia, as its proper name is. Um, this is a bottle of actually Melaleuca brand, and I'm not sponsoring any particular brand here by any means, first off. Uh, tea tree oil is well known in many circles. It's been used for head lice and skin problems and uh, some of the soldiers in World War II were required to carry it in their kits. I believe the, uh, it was either the British, I think it was the British soldiers, from what I heard. Um, this stuff is, uh, the thing that interested me, I've been using Melaleuca for about 15 years now and uh, I use it for all kinds of things. You know, if I have a, a wound, you know, or a scab, you know, you can put it on there. It'll help, it seems to help it heal faster. Um, I recently have had a toothache for the last couple days, so I've been taking it uh, and dumping it directly on my tooth, and it uh, it's not the best tasting stuff, but it does work. And here's the thing, and this is why I'm making this video, because after 15 years of using it, uh, it's funny because recently I got into you know terpenes and plant essential oils, and I always knew, of course, melaleuca was an essential oil. Well, melaleuca contains terpenin. 4 ol it's pronounced well it's terpenin dash 4 dash ol and it's a, a particular terpene that's uh, specific to melaleuca and i don't know if it's uh, in other degrees varying degrees in other plants as well melaleuca has a high degree of it <coughs> and uh, what they've shown in the laboratory is that it uh, it triggers a certain response in your body to ward off infections and immune response. So people use it for immune problems as well as, you know, when you're fighting off a, either a cold or, or something as small as just a little scratch or a wound. The stuff is pretty interesting. Um, one thing I wanted to say about it, and I'll probably make a separate video about this, is that uh, I, I use it for my plants. And um, I spray uh, I take a, a normal size spray bottle, fill it up, I put in 25 drops of Melaleuca oil. Now the thing about the, this brand is that it's, uh, the cineol content is known. The cineol is the penetrating power of it, and there's a certain standard it has to be. The cineol of this I believe is 5%, you want it to be under 15%. The terpenin content of this is 36%. And uh, that's uh, there's also a, a 40% terpene content for more sensitive skin with less cineal, but uh, this stuff works great for plants. Put 25 drops in a sprayer bottle, put a tiny drop of detergent, palm olive, whatever. Shake it up, spray it on your leaves, and uh, you can test it depending on what plant you're using it on. Test it on a leaf, you know. You don't want to get your sensitivity right, but. Uh, it's not only an antifungal, antibacterial, but it's also an anti-bug because the uh, the terpenes in them, the essential oils, basically just destroy bugs. I've used this stuff on, on a crop that was completely infested with spider mites and uh, completely eliminated them. And, you know, people use all kinds of pyrethrins and stuff in their, you know, indoor grows and outdoor. And uh, using simple terpene such as this might be the best option for some people. So uh, beyond that, the health uses of it are, you know, well proven. Really, I don't need to, uh, you know, you can look up all the, the health uses. I just haven't seen a lot of plant use for it, and uh, so I just wanted people to know that. And uh, yeah, hope you all having a good day.